Hey guys, if you've been wondering how to send fancy custom embed messages on your Discord server, this video is for you. Throughout this tutorial, I will be using Carlbot to achieve what I'm about to show you in three steps. Make sure you invite the bot to your server first. I will provide a link in the description for you to do so. Now that you've invited the bot onto your server, here is a preview of what we will be doing today. Of course, this can be edited at your wish. And this is just a preview and an example for you to see. While you can use commands to create embed messages, here I will use the Carlbot's dashboard so it's easier. First of all, go to carl.gg, make sure you log in with your Discord account, and then click Manage or click your profile picture and select Server. Now that you logged in and selected your server, you should see this page. To actually make and post an embed, head over to Embeds on the left menu. As you can see, this is the embed builder that contains different fields for you to fill, as well as a live preview on the right on how it will look like on Discord directly from your browser. Let's start by typing out a simple title, for example, title, and a description that's description. And we will post it in our server just for you to see. So you can see destination, you click, it says, please select a channel, you click here. Here, our channel will be embed message and you click post. Now, if we head back to Discord, we can see that our basic embed message has been posted. As this looks very simple, let's try to pimp it up a bit. But before doing it, I will explain some of the fields that you can see on the screen. So here you can see it says normal text sent with the embed. It's actually something that will be sent above your embed message when it's, been po it's being posted. Here, uh, you can see that your embed can have a name and a title. Uh, a name is actually kind of a, like a, a smaller title. As you can see uh, here, it's like the big title, for example. And here you will see it's like a smaller title. It will look like that, OK? Uh, the icon URL is something that you can uh, have here as an icon. The name URL in the title, title URL is something that you can uh, to make the titles clickable to redirect on a, on, a, on a link that you specify here. Then you have the description. If you want to add more fields, you click on Add Fields, like we did on Discord. Um, then here, you have the image URL at the bottom. So it's it acts like a banner at the bottom. Here, you have the thumbnail URL, so at the top right, like we had on uh, the Discord logo. You have the footer if you want something to be displayed at the bottom, and a footer icon that will be displayed right after. You can select a date as well if you want. It will act the exact same way as the Discord uh, timestamp timestamps on the messages. And that's it for the uh, fields. Now that you better understand the embed fields, uh, we will try to reproduce this. So as you can see, this is exactly what I had uh, for my example here. and. Uh, so you can see I put, uh, so I, I just went on, on Google, I tapped Discord logo, and I took this one and this one, okay? So I, I, I literally just click, right click, and copy image address, and now it gave me a direct link to the, to the um, a picture. Make sure, by the way, that the image is field, uh, that your link ends with a file extension like .png, .jpg, or something else, .gif. Uh, otherwise, it will break the embed and it won't send. So just be careful about that. So here, as you can see, I just uh, pasted the Discord logo uh, here. I pasted it on uh, the thumbnail here, and I pasted the banner on uh, this on, on here on the image uh, URL at the big at the bottom. Um, since I put a link to discard.gg uh, on the title, I made the title clickable, and it redirects directly to discard.gg if you click on it on Discord. Same for the embed name, it redirects to carl.gg, so on the dashboard. Um, so then I added a field, so I clicked on add field like that, and here I only put um, uh, dashes like that. Um, and then you can type whatever you want. If you want to remove a field, you click on this. If you want them to actually be uh, next to each other, um, you will click on inline. And you don't see it here, uh, but usually they they go next to each other like that. See, I don't know if you notice. So if you if you tick inline and inline, they go next to each other. So 
Uh, for example, if I copy paste that, you can see they're next to each other. Otherwise, they're just uh, below and above each other like that. Okay. So, but I don't want uh, the second field here for my example, so I just remove it. Okay. Um, that's it. So for for uh, fields title, uh, note that they are way 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 uh, brighter. Uh, they are actually grayed out on Discord. If you can see, they're a bit grayed out. They're not like as white as uh, normal text. So what I prefer uh, to use is uh, to to use the titles uh, for the subfields uh, to be kind of separators. So here I use that character, but you can use underscores, anything you want. Um, and Something that's very useful also is uh, hyperlink. Uh, this is really good. This is something I really like. So the way it works is that you just put an open bracket, uh, sorry, an open bracket like that, uh, you, with the link, uh, with the text that you want. For example, click me like I did. And then you, you close the bracket, you open a parenthesis, uh, and you, you put your link, and you close the parenthesis, and it will click cr create a hyperlink on which you can click with the text being displayed of what you want. Uh, what it changes, if you don't know exactly what, what it does, is what it changes is you can also just uh, paste a link like that and it will output the link. But when you have very long uh, links like that, for example, let's take this one. If you have very long uh, links, uh, I think it doesn't look that great, right, as a, as a full link. So I think it just looks overall better if you have multiple hyperlinks like that to be able to customize them a bit better. Uh, now that we have a hyperlink, I think you actually know how to do that now. Something I didn't talk about though is the color picker here. Uh, as you can see, the side color of it is blue here, while on my previous example it has been uh, the default black. Uh, so just to change it, you, you go to toggle color picker, you click on it, and you select the color that you want and you can see the preview in real time. So in my, in my case, it will be like a light blue, like that. You just click away, then you select the message and you post. And as you can see, it has been posted again. If you ever come to a point where you want to use emojis and custom emojis in, in, onto your embed message, um, so for normal emojis, what you do is you just type their name um, the way you would do on Discord directly. So point right, for example, would uh, exactly replicate the, the default Discord emoji. But uh, for custom messages, custom emojis, it won't work the same way. What you have to do is basically you either post it or you select it uh, with the emoji picker here. You edit it with the up arrow or right click edit message. Uh, and then you put an empty slash or a backslash before, before it, okay? And it will output that. You press enter and it outputs its full idea. So this is the way Discord recognizes uh, custom emojis. Now what you do is you copy paste that onto your embed message. So here, it won't display on your browser. It's normal because the browser doesn't recognize custom emojis that you've added. But if you click post here, you can see that it actually posted your custom emoji and your normal emoji. And that's the end of this video. I hope it helped you uh, if you have any questions or any remark or anything you would like to tell me, uh, please let me know in the comments. Of course, uh, I put all the links that you would need uh, in the description, the dashboard, the invite link, and all that stuff. Uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you next time.